So a biblical response to the gospel is fundamentally to repent and believe, to turn from sin and self and trust in Jesus as Savior and Lord. So this is the essence of the gospel call. And whenever I share the gospel, whenever we share the gospel, we call people to do this, to repent and believe. Now, at the core, that involves a crying out to God and repentance, saying, oh, I'm turning from my sin and I'm trusting in Jesus as Savior and Lord of my life. And that's where Romans 10 says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And so when I'm sharing the gospel with somebody, or even when I'm preaching and, and, and proclaiming the gospel, I want to call people to cry out to God for salvation. That doesn't mean I need to say, okay, and if you want to do that, then say these words. Follow, follow me or repeat these words after me. That doesn't necessarily, it's not that that's even necessarily bad, but the reality is if somebody realizes that they're a sinner before a holy God and that Christ has paid the price for their sin on the cross and they are broken over their sin and ready to trust in Christ as the Lord of their life, then, and they're saying yes, then at that point it's not really a matter of do they say the right words. It's inviting them then I invite you to call out to Christ for salvation and let them do that. Pray for them. Pray after they call out to salvation. At the same time, be willing to let them be alone with God if they need to be and encourage them in that. Don't just kind of leave them, okay, well, let's kind of take it or leave it. We urge people to cry out for salvation. We urge people to, to repent and believe. But in the process, we want to be careful not to manipulate in that in a way that we give them a box to check and, okay, now that they've done this, they've checked this box off that we've told them they need to check off, now they're saved and everything's okay. No, we want the Spirit to give that kind of assurance as He does this work in their hearts. We share the gospel. We call them to repent, believe, call out to God for salvation, and we let the Spirit of God create that work in that person. And it's a beautiful supernatural thing when that happens and it's just it's the grace of God that we get to be a part of calling people to repentance and faith and belief in Christ and I can't think of anything more exhilarating than seeing somebody's life transformed for all of eternity right in front of you this is something I want to be careful even in talking about you know praying a prayer or inviting Christ in your life and some of the some of the different things that people might get hung up on. This is a beautiful thing that happens. We just want to be as biblical as possible in calling people to commitment to Christ.